There it is. Check this thing out. Let's get this out of the way. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another GridVids episode. I finally got this thing put together. It's the Rad Runner made by Rad Power Bikes. It took me about three hours from start to finish, but I had a few extras to put on. I went ahead and got the passenger package, the fenders, and the uh, center console. The center console can hold up to 22 pounds of gear. It's got a cup holder and a phone mount, and it gives it a completely different look, almost an old school motorcycle. It has the 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium ion battery that should get you from 25 to 45 miles on a single charge. With the 750 watt hub motor, I'm sure this thing will have no problem getting me and the wife around town. But we're gonna go find out for sure and take this for a test spin. And you guys are coming with us. So we found a small hill. Let's see just how much power the Rad Runner has to go from a stopping position to a starting position up this slight incline. Yeah, without any pedaling, just give it gas. Stop about, yeah, okay. Woo! Woo! this thing is rad the rad runner made my by rad power bikes is a lot of fun but i will say this if any of you guys are going to get one extra when you buy the bike i would recommend to get the passenger package for two reasons one being the stock saddle is not that comfortable it's pretty hard on my bony butt and i found uh, just a couple hours of riding around with my wife on the back it uh it started to hurt my ass pretty good but with this passenger, passenger package, you're able to sit back a bit like I am now. And for someone of my size, I'm about 5'11", uh, being able to sit back a bit is a lot more comfortable. Even if this seat was more cushiony up front like this, just feels kind of weird. I mean, you make do, you can deal with it. But for alone, solo riding, this is the way to go right here. If you're going to just go cruise the town, sitting back like this is... It's a lot more comfortable than being up close and uh, up towards the handlebars. I've so far I've used all of this, uh, like the center console has been <coughs> a lot of fun. Able to go to the store, top, pop the top off like this. You can put whatever you want in there, close it up, seal it, good to go, continue on home. So I guess now we can go over the uh, the goods and the bads. Let's cover five of the bad things I noticed about this bike. Uh, one being the fact that you have to assemble it. Not a big deal. It took me a little bit longer because I had three extras to put on without the fender flares being the biggest, or the fenders being the biggest pain in the ass because I had to pull off the rear tire to install the back one. Not a super big thing, but again, three hours of assembly time be ready to sit down and probably watch some YouTube tutorials on how to get that thing on. Okay, I would say reason number two, this was already kind of listed, but it would be the seat, the seat being hard and uncomfortable. Uh, dislike number three would be the kickstand. The fact that it sits so low underneath the frame, it eats up a good three inches of clearance. 
So if you're going to hop a curve, you're more than likely going to rub the bottom frame. But there's ways around that. I see that there's one bolt that goes through the, the frame that holds the kickstand to frame. You could pull that completely off, remove the kickstand, and mount a side kickstand to the back frame by the tire like most bikes are and eliminate that problem. Um, it is a bit of an attention getter for reason just like number four. If you don't like the attention, this may not be the bike for you. Uh, people don't see these very often, so when they do, they want to know what it's all about. And uh, I'd say five would be the weight. It's heavy. If you want to pick this thing up and put it in the back of a car, be ready and willing to lift up about 60 pounds. So, but really most of that weight is what you get for it being an e-bike. The, all the mechanisms that make it an e-bike, it's going to add that weight. I would take the weight to have an e-bike over having a non-e-bike that's light. Okay, so now it's time for the five good things, and these all should come very easily. I'm going to say first off would be the price. 1300 bucks out the door is going to get you this kick-ass e-bike. Uh, minus a couple extras, but just for that straight cost, 1300 bucks. For the e-bike and what you get is a killer deal uh, Two, i'd say the looks it's a kick-ass looking bike you don't see anything like it on the streets they've rad has definitely spent a lot of time on the design of this bike and it shows uh three the versatility this bike has so many different options to it and it has the feel to where you know you can be on the road then you can take a quick jaunt off the road like clearly I'm off-road right now I've spent most of my riding off-road and it gets around just fine uh, four would be the build quality this thing's built tough it doesn't feel like it's going to fall fall apart uh, like you know that it's gonna withstand some hard riding throughout the years and it's gonna stand up to its name last but not least I would say customer service their customer service for me has been nothing but a good experience uh, so when I first bought this bike I went ahead and bought three extras for it because I knew I wanted them not thinking about any promo or any discount I got the fenders the uh, center console and the passenger package well three days after I had bought the bike uh, I saw an email from rad runner saying that if you purchase this bike, you'll have the option to get a free accessory. And I was like, oh wow, man, I didn't really bother me. I just knew I was three days late, but I took a shot in the dark and I sent them an email saying, hey, look, I just bought that bike about four days ago and uh, it was before the promo, but I bought you know a few accessories. Uh, is there any way I can catch a deal? I'm the kind of guy, I'm always looking for a discount, always looking for a deal. Well, they got back to me a day later and said yeah it looks like you got a pretty well loaded bike we'll throw you a hundred bucks back so they ended up giving me a hundred bucks after just a simple email and me saying that about the whole promotion thing and to me that's pretty cool they could have just like ignored me and not gotten back to me and I probably wouldn't have cared and again I was just taking a shot in the dark and the fact that they did do that says a lot about the business and that they do care about their customers a hundred bucks that's I think the fender, the, uh, the, the fenders are, I think, 80 bucks. I think the only thing that was 100 bucks would be the passenger package. So yeah, basically I got the passenger package for free without even like caring. I would have bought it anyways, but the fact is they did give me my money back on that. So absolutely, Rad has got some good customer service. I have nothing but good things to say about them. And I look forward to riding this bike more. I have the Rad Rover coming in about a month. I wanna do a really good comparison video between the two good do a good review on that bike as well so if you guys like what you see and you want to see more of it make sure you subscribe if you have any questions about this bike leave a comment i'll get back to you on that and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time oh my god so much for that idea